it sounds like this downward spiral that started right and 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 you know a spiral of kind of resentment and and frustration and then you know just anger yeah. right because it's, it's like why is this falling apart when this is such a good thing for you it was uh it was a massive trigger in my life really because as i say it was my outlet for for my mental health in essence it was yeah. it was a, a cure for my adhd yeah and when that was sort of taken away when i stopped enjoying my training and started putting all of my energy into training that's when problems really start to arise you know lashing out be more violent drink drugs you know, getting in trouble at school, being the class clown, yeah, uh, and loads of factors on the back of that. Literally, that that year following that sort of, you know, quitting the swimming or qu under that coach, just things got horrendous. You know, I was expelled from school, so I was I was chucked out of school, so I wasn't allowed to uh, you know have an education. Um, or like, and I mean this like with sincerity. I was in prison probably every other weekend like fighting or doing something I shouldn't. Yeah. Um, my nan was diagnosed with cancer all around the same time. I got a girl pregnant. Wow. Um, yeah, and I think just all these factors just all melted together in one scenario. And I just imploded, man. Yeah, yeah. Just, that's, yeah it was horrible. Well, it's a, a lot to handle, especially at that age. You know, because as, uh, you know, as a male at that type of age you know, 13, 14, there's a lot of changes going on anyway. Yeah. Right. And you're, and you're, you're trying to figure out your path and, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, I guess, boys at that age, you're already trying to build confidence. Right. And, and now you've got this other factor where something that was so stable for you falls apart. Then you've got these other life factors that are now it's, it's just a, um, a kind of a negative cascade right that just keeps coming oh it was which one is bad. it was one thing after the other i mean obviously I, I was excelling at school you know even though i was i was the class clown and misbehaving you know i was top of the class in maths and english and i even uh, even though i was expelled so i was home tutored i had to have a teacher come up to my house and and sort of go through the lessons with me in yeah. the end and I, I actually still went back and i i i think i got seven in, in the uk we have what we call gcses and i believe that i got seven gcses some of them, like, A grades, like, A's the best and sort of, like, F's the worst. Yeah. I've, I've got seven A to C grades. So, wow. and... So you're still doing fine. <laughs> mate, really? I, like, I remember going to pick up my grades from school and talking to my mates, and no one had got any grades. Wow. No one. Like, everyone had fucking failed. Like, That's there, crazy. Of course, there were some people, you know, obviously not in my circle, but... yeah. In my circle, none of my mates had any grades. They, they just all, all, all just fucking fucked. Yeah. And I was there, like, I, I did fucking astonishing. Yeah. Comparatively. That, with being expelled? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, I wasn't at yeah. school for the last two years, and I did better than all my, all my peers, you know? Yeah. So, so obviously, this is, you know, looking back, I think it's, it, you, like you're saying, it's more clear what was going on. Yeah. And, and, and there's, there's obviously a, a factor there for what was happening, right? Yeah. So it's, it's um, you know, but you're, I'm sure at that time getting labeled as the the troublemaker, the bad kid, like you're not doing well, you're you're not behaving all this, right? So. Yeah, so, I, and I guess at that age, there's a lot of pressure on you because, you know, that you've got to get those grades, you've got to get into college, mm -hmm. otherwise you're not going to get a job and you're going to fail and, and that's all you were told, you yes. know, that's all that was told to me, like you're yeah. going to fail. Every time I was misbehaving in class, get out, you're going to fail in life. Yeah. You know, you're expelled. Good luck. You're going to fail. Yeah. It was just constant. Like, you, there's so much pressure on you to do good in life that when you do actually get put in that position where you are expelled and all these things that the teachers have been saying for the few, last year or so are coming true, like you're going to get expelled, you're not going to learn anything, you're going to end up, you know, with a shit job and all yeah. that. So, yeah, that was a tough time. And I actually went through a stage of, of really bad depression and anxiety. Yeah. And no, it's tough. It's and I know I know what you're going to talk about. So it's 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 not easy uh, to have these things happen. And um, you know, I've I've uh, you know th these moments in life, right? Like like they ultimately i think they made you better right 
And I think that that's the, hopefully the takeaway, but I'll let you yeah. run with it, man. I mean, so as a 13 year old kid being prescribed Prozac, which is like an antidepressant and you're, you're seeing a psychiatrist. So whilst all my mates are at school learning the GCSEs and having fun, you know, I was sat in front of psych, you know, a psychiatrist trying to get my life back together. It's hard to talk about because it was... Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> no, it's... It was a real, it was a really dark time of my life. Yeah, really bad, yep. And then I suppose... Uh, sorry. Don't be sorry, man. The, you, the, the thing about this, Ed, is, is honestly, this is going to, it's going to help so many people that listen to this. It's going to help them out, right? Because the, the fact of the matter is you went through all of this and look at what you've become, right? Look at how many people look up to you for these things, right? So I've talked, yeah. I've talked about going through dark times here and you have in a lot of ways you have to hit that rock bottom at some points and it's rock bottom for some people is different than rock bottom for other people. Yeah. But you know, the, the, the fact that you are sharing this and, and um, you know, showing the emotion is real, bro. Like it's not, it's not anything other than real. So, you know, I, I, um, I you guess, know, yeah. I guess it was a wake up call, you know, because, just those two years was so so miserable. Just like locked in my room on my own. Just like literally having the thoughts I wanted to kill myself on a daily basis. Yeah. <clears throat> and then fast forward to about, I would say, 15 years of age. And uh, it was my mum that said to me, like just sat me down one day. And I think you could see from the outside, you know, everything around, everything, every, every, all the eyes from the outside could just see it was imploding. Yeah. And my mum sort of sat me down and was like, what the fuck are you going to do? Like, you cannot continue the way you are. You can't stay in your room all day. You can't not go to school. You can't not get a job. You've got to get up and get on with your life. And for whatever conclusion we came to, we decided I was going to join the gym. So instead of being home all day, wanking and playing the PlayStation, whatever else, <laughs> Join the gym. So my yeah. mum paid for a membership for me to join a gym. And even though I was only sort of, you know, late 14, 15 years of age, I, when my mates were at school, I was going to the gym and I was lifting weights. And I was hanging around with guys that took me under their wing very quickly. You know, guys in the 50s, 60s, even 70s, you know, old guys that have been bodybuilding and powerlifting for 40, 50 years. Yeah. And that was where my life got back on track. <clears throat> 